I once knew a girl who would always tell me that I have such a good frequency. And I thought to myself, what is frequency? What is this thing that she's praising about me and how can I improve it? And to be honest, I just wanted to make a YouTube video, right? I, I heard it and I thought to myself, man, let's make a video about this. How can I teach this, right? If I'm already good at it, why risk becoming worse? So I found the things that I was doing right about frequency and the things that I was doing wrong about frequency and I'm gonna tell them to you. The first major fault that you can do when trying to get a better frequency, which basically means having a better energy, um, which will then lead to better magnitude around you. Imagine a magnetic field around you and that's your frequency. And that magnetic field either pushes people away or draws them in. And the better your magnetic field is, the more likely is it that people or money or status or anything will be pulled in to you. And it's basically this theory of don't chase something because if you chase something, it's running away from you, but rather attract it. So it's basically the law or the science of attraction. This is frequency. And I'm sure you've all seen this internet trend of people talking about this and they are all teaching it way too difficult. And I think it's just a, a funnel um, leading to their coaching where they then explain it um, in English, in plain English and not in fucking uh, uh, spiritual words, right? And there's one phrase that struck me while I was journaling about this and it was frequency is who you frequently are. If you're frequently good, your frequency is gonna be good. If you're frequently distressed, your frequency is gonna be distressed. Now, how do we improve who we are? We get onto the path of self-improvement. Because who we are is determined by how we feel, how we act, how we think, right? Those are the things and how we speak. I forgot to add that, I'm sorry. Those are the things that determine who we are as humans. And self-improvement improves every single one of them with at least one habit per trait. Let's attack them one by one. Let's start with what we do because it's the most obvious one. What we do is improved by meditation and gratitude journaling and gym. Now, you see every thing of this has different percent things and different, different parts in your frequency and how much does this matter to your frequency and how much does this matter to your frequency? It's all bullshit. This is where it gets way too complicated for most people and most YouTubers guides. This is the point where you lose all sense of connection to the video and where you don't know what the fuck the guy is talking about. So let me teach you this in plain English. The actionable steps for this video is go to the gym and train as hard as you can. Not as much as you can, but as hard as you can. One set needs to be all you need. And I teach this in the guide on my channel. Maybe I'll link it in the description or the info card. Maybe I'll remember it, probably not. Um, but the guide is named three sets are a waste of time and you can just watch that and that will then teach you everything you need to know about free thought and about how many sets to do. In general, one set should be enough. Two sets should be okay and three sets you shouldn't do. You either do one or you do 10. So this analogy of in the military, um, they say if you can't kill him with one, kill him with a thousand is true. And I would say if you don't have this ability to push this far, that one set is enough and that you're suffering enough in one set that you're done after one set, um, then you should do 10 sets or 20 sets. 
of this intensity that you can strive for. Go as hard as possible, but if you're not completely done, if you let the weight down a little bit too early, do 10. Don't go to, oh, I'm going to do three sets. I'm, I'm, I'm a little soy boy. No. If you stop short before failure and make this, make this, make this oath with me right now. If I stop short before failure on my first set, I will do 10 sets to that extent of failure. Because the only way to really learn something is through pain. And trust me, you are gonna learn. You are never ever gonna stop close or short before failure because you will know how much 10 sets fucking hurt. The second thing you need to get into is gratitude journaling, which is probably the most important thing for your frequency. Having a mindset of everything has some benefit to it will help you feel better, think better, act better, and speak better. And speaking better and acting better, I mean all this better for you. So beneficial to your goal. And speaking better isn't speaking without messing your words up. It's just not speaking negatively about yourself. So speaking better in in, def in defense for yourself. So you're not saying, oh yeah, I'm bad at this, I'm bad at this, I'm bad at this. Because gratitude journaling will teach you to think positive even in a negative situation. When you miss the bus, you will not think, oh fuck, I missed the bus, now I have to blah, 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 and this is shit, and all my life is shit. You will rather think, I'm grateful, I now have time to learn, or to journal, or to meditate, or to make progress, frankly. Now, gratitude journaling works like this. You write down, I am grateful because, and then you write down what you are grateful for. And while you write that down, you think about why am I grateful for this? Why did this come to mind when I thought about gratitude? Let's take, for example, one gratitude thing. I'm grateful for nature. Now, I write this down in my gratitude journal and I think, why am I grateful for nature? Oh, because of the birds, because of the experiences I have in there, because of the videos I can film, because of the beautiful trees I see. And then you will discover your values. And what will then happen after a short amount of time, I'd say after about two to, two, uh, two to three weeks. And this might seem long right now, but the time will pass anyway, so you might as well do it instead of watching fucking YouTube videos <laughs> like this one. Um, and over time, you will know your values. You will know what you value and you will be able to navigate life way better, AKA to do better, to act in a better way. Because many people act on what they like. Few people, successful people act on what they value. I like to eat cake. I like to indulge in instant gratification. I like it. I may even say I love it. But do I do it? No. And not because, oh, I control my emotions. I, I'm such a sigma male. No. <laughs> because I do what I value and not what I like. And gratitude journaling and journaling in general, if you do it in the way I just taught you, will help you know your values and know what's valuable to you and therefore give you the knowledge of what to do because then you know what you value in life and then you will know how to act on these values. The third thing that I told you to do is meditation. Meditation will help you build your mind. Imagine this and I love to use this analogy. You're a diver in fucking Estonia or wherever they dive, right? You dive down to a computer on the bottom of the sea. 
And that computer is your mind. And every time you get down there, you can program your mind. And every time you get down there, your lung is challenged and your lung grows. And you will be able to stay down there when, when, when you went down there enough. So people who hold their breaths a lot, they will know that over time it becomes easier and you will be able to hold your breath for longer because you know specific tactics to breathe in better, to have more air in your lungs. And this is the same thing with meditation. Meditation is diving down and reprogramming your mind. This is what meditation does. It does nothing but this. Now, don't be afraid to come up. Don't be afraid to fail at meditation because you are going to fail. You are going to have to surface for air. Maybe you won't even get down to programming your mind on the first try. Maybe you might only get one keystroke on the first uh, dive. But just, just, but just remember that through holding your breath, even when you're at the surface, it will help you have a better ability to hold your breath. Even if I hold my breath now, it will help me dive tomorrow. If you are mindful throughout the whole day, you still learn how to dive. You still learn how to meditate. The longer you can meditate, the better you can hold your breath. And you only learn to hold your breath when you hold your breath. There is no substitute habit for it. These are all things you can do to fucking day. You can meditate today, even if it's just for five minutes, it doesn't matter. You just have to do it frequently. <laughs> You can gratitude journal today. It doesn't matter how much you write down. It just matters that you do it frequently. I would recommend every single day. And you can go to the gym today. You can train today. And it doesn't matter how much you do. It just matters that you do it frequently. And if you are this big arrogant ch chad that I used to be. And you think, oh, yeah, I don't need to go to the gym. Mm -mm. Do one push up every single day for the next week. I bet you couldn't do it. I bet most people who are arrogant and who say, oh, I don't need meditation. I don't need this, blah, 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 blah. I'm a big alpha male. They couldn't even do, let's say, 20 push-ups a day for the next week. They'll forget about it. So if you can do 10 every single day, you will do more push-ups than the guy who wants to do the full workout every single day and stops at day one because he never does it. So do 20 push-ups right fucking now and write a comment if you've actually done them because I'm actually intrigued. For every guy who writes a comment, I will record myself doing 50 push-ups and I will upload it to YouTube. <laughs> Just as a little... Um, thing to get engagement on the video right because i'm a little with a spurgy youtuber right I, I want your engagement to boost the algorithm but actually remind just just remember how this video found you was it sent to you by a friend was it discovered on youtube did you find it on the youtube surge thing if you found it you found it throughout some way and just be mindful of the way you found it and distribute it to someone else in exactly this way. So if the video was sent to you, send it to someone else. If the video was recommended to you, you can subscribe to my channel, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you fucking hate me. Um, and you can write a comment and that will boost the algorithm and then help recommend this video to basically your younger self. And this will help you provide value to your younger self through to, to the version of yourself that didn't know the things that I told you today. So if you think what I say is valuable, you can boost this video a little bit. So master your mind. Have a nice day.